Good morning, folks. We've got news from Mars, yet another supernova. Berkeley offers an unusual black hole animation that makes you wonder about the name black hole. Let's get started with the sun over at spaceweathernews.com. We're finding a quiet day on our star, dark coronal holes but no sunspots, and therefore the solar flare X-ray flux is flatlined. The solar wind is calming as well. Purple coming down as we exit the stream from a few days ago, and geomagnetic conditions are all quiet here at Earth. The southern portion of the coronal hole system is crossing Earth-facing longitudes today, offering kinetic alpha waves and potential IMF connections. The streams could get here in the coming few days. Let's jump right out to ExoMars. Its incredible aerobraking maneuver completed two days ago, putting it into its close orbit and setting up some of the best water discovery missions ever on the Red Planet. Up next, we're going to the first of two Berkeley releases last night. After citizen scientists noted unexpected brightening, they were able to confirm that indeed, we have a new supernova on the list, this one supposedly 40 million light years away. Of course, that was the less aesthetically amazing release from Berkeley yesterday. What you see here is a picture of the electromagnetic conditions and ion winds swirling and surrounding a black hole. They do end up crossing the event horizon, and at no point do we see anything that appears to have no escape boundary or no light. Not only does the approach and descent into the black hole lack any features resembling a black hole, but even as you cross the event horizon in their minds, the light takes over. Just had to share that one. Lastly, folks, ESA's SPAL test. SPAL is the breadth and density of the inner spacecraft debris from meteoroids hitting the outside. Tested here with a bullet and obviously not doing so well. SPAL and the electromagnetic dangers to Mars missions, coupled in a hole with the good space weather health information, was the topic of Dr. Dunning's presentation from Observing the Frontier 2018 on Saturday. By the way, you've got four of the presentations in your Deeper Look section of SuspiciousObservers.org. Of course, many of you know Jones' talk is posted here on YouTube as of last night. Be sure to check it out. It is linked for you below. We've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close, and we greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now. It's 5 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.